Welcome to Blending the Family, the podcast. Topics can range from what is good wine on a first date, parenting tips, and not being afraid to ask for help. Here's your host, who was a stay-at-home dad and was actually outsourced, Tommy Maloney. Welcome to Blending the Family, the podcast. I am your host, Tommy Maloney, as the voice guy just said, coming to you live, well, re- you get it, recorded, not live, but anyway, coming to you from Castle Gar, British Columbia. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. I have uh, never been this west of Canada, or west in Canada, something like that, anyway. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm going to put uh, uh, pictures from today uh, in the show notes. Just, oh, my. It was a beautiful flight and just uh, just beautiful part of this, this wonderful planet. All right. Um, where are we going to go first? Let's go here. Let's talk. So I apologize. Had some computer issues. Hence, it's been a while since you and I have had a chat. The if you have uh, any kind of uh, Mac uh, products, especially the laptops, sometimes you'll get that uh, beach ball of death, and that's what I was getting uh, with my laptop. And for the most part, it's fixed. Have to take it back in eventually. Get a new hard drive, which I find funny because I had a new hard drive put in this one a couple years ago. So. You know what? I want to keep this laptop. I love my Mac. Uh, what is this one? Uh, Mac Air Pro. I, I, MacBook Air Pro. Love it. Anyway, uh, I have to I'm trying to upgrade the hard drive to a one terabyte, which hopefully will speed it up. Won't have any more problems. I also need to give out some shout outs. And I rarely give out the email address, but. Apparently people found me, and I love it. So, uh, shout-outs to Kyle, Brittany, Kristen for shooting over some emails. And if you want to send me an email, because now the computer's working, I can respond back. So it's Tommy at BlendingTheFamily.com, Tommy at BlendingTheFamily.com. Um, yeah, Canada's beautiful. Just beautiful. And... What else is going on? Uh, update on Duke. Oh, if if this is your first time listening, thank you for tuning in. Duke is our our family dog, and he he's an old bugger, and he's struggling these days. My wife and I uh, actually a couple weekends ago went out to run some errands, and we have to leave our uh, bathroom door closed in our bedroom. Or else Duke will go in there, sniff around, eat garbage. But because it's a tile floor, he will slip and then can't get back up. And we were running errands and I I was like, I hear something. I hear like Duke is in our bathroom. Sure enough, he got stuck. So my wife and I have been having those hard heart-to-heart conversations about um, when we need to... Uh, put him down, and I, I don't know what other words to say. It's it's hard. It's really hard because for uh, my wife and her two daughters, they've had Duke since he was a puppy. So um, it's 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 hard. It's hard when you. I, the only phrase I can come up with is when you have to play God. And I was just reading an article about how there's a high suicide rate with veterinarians because owners of pets are putting too much pressure on the veterinarians. You know, uh, one of the veterinarians said, you know, we can we can fix, take care of these, these animals. But number one, a lot of times the owners just don't have enough money. Uh, number two, they refuse to, um, you know, get the animal the uh, help they need, and it's just insane, insane. Don't 
don't put that kind of pressure on your veterinarian. That's not there. They're there to serve and help the animal as best they can. So this is a family decision in, in our world. This is going to be probably coming up very soon, quite honestly, because uh, the poor guy, he just can't, like I just said, he he gets stuck on a tile floor or in our kitchen. There's a wood floor there, and he just he'll get stuck and... It's sad, but ironically a little bit funny when we have to push him to the carpet so he can get, at least get his front paws to push himself up because he can't, his back paws are just, or his back legs are just struggling, struggling. And so it's it's going to be hard. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to say in a couple weeks we're going to definitely have to really we're gonna have to do it i mean he's he's suffering i mean you can he's he's still he's still happy go lucky but he's just he's just suffering okay all right let's move on we gotta move on all right so there's no guest on this one and i i need your help because i titled this episode called the have nots the have nots or being a have not. My son Connor uh, recently turned the big one six. Super proud of him. I'm 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 super proud of our kids. I really I love. I'm and again. If this is your first time listening, I have uh, two bonus daughters, and I have a son. And this is where I'm blessed. All three kids get along. As a matter of fact, we just had uh, we had a little family outing uh, with the oldest uh, Betsy and my wife Anne, Connor, and myself. Uh, Becca was Becca was on a cruise. Poor kid on a cruise. Anywho, so the four of us spent time together this past weekend, uh, just running errands, having lunch together. And it was Sunday, so around 3 o'clock, we have to make the journey, the hour drive down to take Connor back to his mom's house. And this is where I really need your help. And maybe, it, is it me? Could I be overreacting on this? As we started to pull, they, they live in a cul-de-sac. As we're coming around uh, within the cul-de-sac to uh, where Connor lives, as mom's house, as we were pulling up towards the house, he goes, "Oh, uh, I got a car." And I looked. Sure enough, there's balloons on. Apparently, it's his new car. He doesn't have his license yet. Doesn't have his license yet. Has a permit, but doesn't have his license yet. So now. I feel like a total dick because dad didn't get him a car. Would dad get him a car? Well, number one, dad can't afford to uh, get him a car. But number two, I don't feel that you should be buying your kids cars unless they're going to help pay a, a, a major portion of it. So, for example, with uh, both my wife's daughters, uh, there was a third. So, both Betsy and Becca paid one third. Uh, my wife paid a third, and and um, the girl's dad paid a third. That's fair. That's fair. And so, I, like I said, it, I feel like a big dick because I tried. I try to instill some type of ownership in our kids' lives. So, you know, taking responsibility, doing the right thing. And, you know, I, on a, on a side note, I try to make a, a birthday dinner. I try to make a really good uh, birthday dinner. So we put uh, some meat in the crock pot. Um, Scotty C used your recipe, and 
was making pulled pulled pork sandwiches. Oh my gosh, the meat was horrible. We think partially because it had been in our freezer a little bit too long. Uh, so the meat was horrible. Uh, Connor picked out a, a pie um, for his, for the, the birthday dessert. And I didn't take it out of the freezer soon enough. So it was... <laughs> uh, pie ice I don't know what else to call it other than it need to be defrosted even longer so so I'm not feeling too good after that and then we pull up to the house and there's his new car and I was pissed because his mom didn't mention anything to me and this is where I'm going to ask you should she have mentioned this to me should she have uh, reached out to me to say or at least give me a heads up on I'm we're buying him a car because I would have said no you're not buying him a car he needs to earn it or, or at least pay for it part of it and uh, this the my wife had to pick Connor up this past weekend cuz my flight got in late and they were talking about it and she said well are you going to get a car he goes I I'd, I'd like to get a car but right now I don't have any money well, how else are you going to buy a car unless you have money? So am I overreacting on this? Am I just, should I just let it go? I mean, I'm going to have to let it go. But this is where it hurts. It really, really hurts when you don't always have the funds to be able to cover expensive gifts, I guess, in this case. So I'm a have not, and it's it's just it felt like a slap in the face. And again, maybe I'm whining, maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, part of me should say, "Cool, she paid for the car. All right, I don't have to pay for the car." Oh, so thirsty. So there you have it. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what you. Uh, think about getting your kids now getting your kids lavish gifts like this now here's the other thing and here's where the the blended family piece comes in like i said the two girls they had to pay a third of their car so now their brother gets a car for free do you, are you with me on this do you, do you understand where i'm coming from these the two girls had to help pay for their cars and now and it's not his fault okay i know it's not his fault and it, i'm just saying it just to say it but it's just it doesn't feel right it did i mean part of me feels like such a loser cuz i couldn't come up and you know buy any of the kids cars i would love to buy all the kids a new car or or a new car to them you know a used car so th that's where i really feel like a major loser is that i can't do that uh, my wife and i don't have that kind of income so there you have it am i overreacting am i just just should i just shut up and let it go please like i said tommy at blending the family.com tommy at blending the family.com all right, hopefully you'll say, you know what, Tommy, just let it go. Or or maybe you have a better idea. I don't know. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, this has been fun. I'm so happy to have uh, you back as far as being able to have a podcast again. And it's really funny. I've had people reach out to me and say, hey, how do you start a podcast? And one of the things I tell them, make sure you have uh, a bunch of podcasts like in storage, or as we used to call them in radio, um, keeping them in the can, having them in the can ready to go. And I didn't take my own advice. So there will be guests coming up. I've got a list of guests that, are gonna, that I need to uh, get recorded, and that's it. So there you go. Um, that's about it.
but thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for, or, or you know, m- you know, sticking by me during this time of the technical issues. So there you go. All right, say it with me. As Terry Crews would say, your success is my success. Have a great day. Bye now. Thank you for listening to Blending the Family, the podcast. We hope the little kid kicking your seat behind you while flying across the country was less painful than listening to Tommy.